My name's Casey Domingues. I fish out of uh, Gunning Cove, Nova Scotia, just outside of Shelburne. I fish lobster and herring on my boat, the Angelina Ray 1. Uh, she's 50 foot by 24 foot wide. Before the season starts, we do, we have a sit down. Uh, we kind of go over a few different scenarios and things that can happen. We do try our suits on. Um, everybody knows where everything is. I do have a checklist that the whole crew goes down through and to make sure they know where the fire extinguishers are, where the flares are, you know. And um, even throughout the season, if there's, a, if there's a day that we go that's going to be a little rougher than others, um, you know, before we get dressed to go out there, you know, everybody's dressed warm, we kind of say, you know, you guys be careful or, or don't do that. And we look after one another out there. If, you know, if I, if I don't see what's going on, the two crew out back, they look after, you know, they look after their, their selves out there and, uh, and watch what one another's doing at all times. And just be ready, I guess, be ready for any possible scenario, even though there are a million. You'll never be ready for all of it, but um, all you can do is really talk about different things and, and inform your crew. Make sure that your crew is completely informed on everything on your boat, whether it be the electronics or the hydraulics or any moving part on your vessel. Make sure that your crew knows how it works, how to work it, and how to shut it off and on. That's the, you know, that's one of the main things. Is there has been people that have gone overboard, um, captains, and their crew has no idea how to turn the boat around and pick them up. I think that my crew and, and their families, I think they feel a little bit better knowing that that I kind of push this stuff a little bit. I know my wife does, she feels a lot better knowing that, uh, you know, knowing that we wear our life jackets and we do everything that we, you know, have to possibly do. My girls, uh, my three-year-old is starting to realize, she got, realizes that I go fishing and she always tells me to stay safe when I go and don't work too hard, she says, every time I leave. At the first of the season, it's very high stress. Um, everybody's a little bit on edge. Um, we're all thinking about, as, as captains, we're all thinking about, you know, where we're going to go and, and if the season's going to be good. So it's good to, you know, be ready for anything that might happen. At, at the end of the day, it does come down to just being ready and being prepared. And, and uh, if something does happen, because like as I've said before, and a lot of people say to me, oh, that'll never happen to me, that'll never happen until it does. And then when that one time does, that's all it takes. It all takes one time for you not to be wearing your life jacket and to slip and fall and go overboard in that cold water. It only takes one time for something to happen. 